This is the tape pill. So this video is gonna be all about Madrid. Um, we started there on our trip from New York City, went straight into Madrid, we did an overnight flight, which was a little weird considering the time difference is six hours different. We left at like 5.30 mm -hmm. um, in the evening in New York and ended up in Madrid at like six o'clock in the morning and then jumped from there to the train. Yep, straight into the square where we are staying. We made it to Spain. We stayed at Hotel Francisco number one, the first. I don't know if there was I don't know if there was more than one, but we stayed on stayed in that one. So the subway that brought us up was like so right close to where that was and we're very close to Plaza Mayor and Puerto de Sol. It's considered the city center. Yeah, so it was really nice there. I just felt like everything was very clean. Although there, one thing I was surprised with the amount of graffiti, not just in Madrid but in Spain as a whole. Seemed like like everywhere had graffiti. Yeah, but, it, but it's like more artistic. Right, graffiti. Yeah. yeah, it seemed more artistic graffiti, but still, it was just I was surprised at just like the dichotomy between such old, you know, yeah. beautiful buildings, and a lot of them had like the shutters that come down. That's what the, that's where the graffiti. And was the graffiti on. was all on shutters, and so during when the places are open and the shutters were up, you wouldn't even see it. But when all the places are closed, it's just graffiti everywhere. But other than that, we felt like the buildings were beautiful. We felt like we were in a movie. Um, again, I think that the subway transportation there was really awesome. Between walking and that, it was very easy to get around and see everything that we wanted to yeah. see. We were in a great location where we really, I think we took the subway to get to where we had to go. Mm -hmm. And then you get from there to um, the train station, the high-speed rail station. Yes. Um, but other than that, we walked everywhere. Yeah, and I kept a journal on my trip so that I could write down all the places we went to. So um, Plaza Mayor was a great place to see. It was a beautiful square, and during the day, um, you have a lot of the restaurants that are open and people sitting outside all around the square. So it's really pretty, and it's nice to see. Puerto de Sol was just another pretty. Not really a square, but a little area. That seemed more touristy. Yeah, it did. You know, it was almost like, not obviously nothing like Times Square, but in the sense of you had the little characters and people asking for money oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like trying to put stuff in your hand. Yeah. But, oh yes, don't take, you told me that, don't take anything from anybody. Those so literally have, like, people walk up things. to you and try to put stuff in your hand. A flower that they're selling, whatever it is, they try to give it to you. Oh, well, it's free, it's free, and literally like stick it in your hand. And then when you don't want to pay for you, it and then they try to yeah and so that's just one of the scams they try to do is get you something and then try to say oh you have it now you got to pay for it or i'm gonna call cops and blah 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 i literally so, had to like get this guy he wouldn't take back this toy to, like, thing just drop it. i just dropped it on the floor because i was like no and I, I knew after that point like just don't grab anything um another place that we visited was i don't know what was it oh, beautiful. the park it reminded me kind of a smaller version of Times Square, uh, Times Central, Square Park. Central Park. Yeah, there's like a little lake pond thing that you can rent a rowboat and go out on. It was cute. Yep, it's, I don't know if it ever snows in Madrid or gets really, really cold, but I would assume at any time this park is just really pretty to walk around. And if uh, there's a playground there, there might have been a couple, but we found one at least. Um, the other one was Prado Museum. Do you remember this? It, yeah, we didn't actually go in the Prado Museum. Okay. Uh, we walked around and looked at some pictures of stuff that's in it. But it's, I guess, one of the most famous um, art museums there in Madrid. So that's the other thing. We, since we had, you know, our kids, we didn't actually do a lot of the art type stuff. The museums. Stuff. The museums. So Madrid is very well known for its art mm -hmm. presence, and you know, we enjoyed a lot of architecture and saw a lot of stuff on the outside. But with such young kids. Um, it wasn't necessarily at the top of our list to go in and tour all the art museums and all of that. Yes. Uh, but we've heard some really great things about the work that's in there. Right. Um, also, the Royal Palace of Madrid, we didn't go in there, but oh my gosh, that was so pretty. And then we actually did go in and tour the cathedral that's right beside it. Um, and then there was a mass going on and the girls were a little cranky, so we slipped out real quick because everyone was looking at us like, why are you in here? The sunset over there when we were right there at the cathedral, there's like a little courtyard between the cobblestone courtyard between the cathedral and the, um, the palace, and it was absolutely breathtaking. Yep. Um, the other one was Mercado de San Miguel. 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 
San Miguel. So that was a, uh, it's indoor and it's like a marketplace, but um, it's not really a marketplace. So imagine a bunch of different vendors. Vendors or like shops? Sounds like if you've ever been to oh. like Chelsea Market yeah. in New York City or a I bunch of the name of the restaurants one in Boston as well. Like small restaurants, a lot of uh, meat and cheeses Tapos and stuff. And Tapos drinks. Yeah. And different kinds of drinks. So you walk through it and there's just all this hustle and bustle going on around you and you just order a little thing here, a little thing there, you stand so the tables. in the tape the tables they have in the middle. Or you, if, if you find a chair, it's really it gets really crowded there. But it was it, it, that was tough the first day we went with the kids. Yeah, it was a little bit overwhelming, but we'll, I had I but everything inside was so good and it was like a fun experience. I just knew we had to do it again, so we did do it a different day when it was a little less crowded. So then here are some places that we really liked um, as far as restaurants go. This chocolate place. Um, go ahead. Chocolate Heroes and Gines. Dinos? Oh, I right. don't know. It's a place where they serve churros. In Spain, they don't have sugar on them. And then you dip it into like a chocolate that is not your typical like milk chocolate, really, really sweet chocolate, but it's just like a dipping chocolate. Very popular breakfast. The other place that we went to was La Mallorquina. The reason why I like this place is because this is what I imagined when I thought of how people say you don't have to spend a lot on getting your breakfast items. This is like, that was it. So we were able to go in, we got our coffees, we got chocolate croissants, we got ham and cheese sandwiches, and just got a lot of different little things and it was still very cheap. I think we ended up going out there for 12 euros and we just got a bunch of stuff and it was really good. Um, when you visit this place downstairs, you, there's standing area but upstairs is where you can sit and dine, which is more comfortable um, if you're with the family. Another place that we went to was El Sur. It was one of, one of my favorites. It's like a little tapas bar. We walked through, you know, actually from where we were staying, it was probably a 20 minute walk to get there. But I think we all agreed it was well worth it. And the um, area that it was in was really cool too. There was a lot of murals on the walls when you walked around this area. Um, the other thing that we did the last day that we were in Madrid that I thought was a good idea in actually any of the big cities is to get on those bus tours. So this particular one we just went on, I felt like it was really awesome to do because you could see so many sites and be able to be sitting. I would actually even seat. recommend doing that sooner in the trip. So you can see you know? what you so want to go back to. So do it your first day, so, which is what we did in Barcelona. But um, you do it your first day so you can see all the sites and be like, all right, I like this, I like that, or this area, that area. Mm -hmm. So that way at the end, it's not like, oh man, I wish I would have spent more time there. Right, exactly. So that is just kind of our brief summary of Madrid. We really loved it. And hopefully if you are going to Spain, that you take the time to go to Madrid, because again, it's one of those places that everybody kind of misses and they go to Barcelona first, but go there. I think it's magical. I think that you can go there for a couple days at least and you will feel like it's worth it.